Hey guys, <clears throat> Uncle Jay Shuffle Boston here with another Pat story that I think you guys might like. Some of you have been uh, asking me for another Pat story, so here's another Pat story. So we ended up getting a, um, hired to joust at this large Renaissance Festival in Southern California that they do every year. And it was our first and only time doing it. <clears throat> and uh, I think it ran for like four weeks or something like that. Well, we did like two or three shows a day. And then in between the shows, we would tear down the field, get the horses taken care of and address and... Then we grab some lunch real quick, and some of us would go to the ale stand for a free beer and and uh, flirting with the ladies. And Pat liked to do that. And one day he's at the ale stand in between shows, and this attractive uh, late thirties brunette um, saw him at the ale stand, and she introduced herself to him and said how much she. Uh, loved his performance in the show and how much she liked the show and stuff and pat is a very charming guy and um he did turn it on with her and uh she absolutely fell he head over heels for him and uh then he brought her backstage after the next show and and stuff and you know sometimes that would happen and um it she absolutely just took him in like a straight puppy like from a junkyard or something pat was a very dirty guy maybe he wasn't like dirty but he just looked like he needed a bath you know his 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 gear definitely smelled like shit it smelled like the packers locker room i'm sure um but uh they they ended up becoming a little couple there while we were uh, doing this show and we all went out to dinner one night uh at the end of the day and it turned out that this uh this gal that he was seeing that he met at the festival was a big wig at Disney. And she drove this brand new black Mercedes SUV and stuff. And she was fucking loaded. Loaded. And this is right after Pat, you know, moved out of out of his van that, that he had a mountain lion with. He went from that to this. Like, instantly. She just loved him. And we told Pat, like, don't fuck this up, dude. Don't fuck this up. I know, I know. Calm down. Calm down. I won't fuck anything up. Just relax. But we're like, Pat, this is your lottery ticket to a new life, dude. She really digs you. Please don't fuck this up. I know, I know. Okay. So we, we nicknamed her Disney. And she came every single day. That... Every weekend, I mean, that we did these shows. And she, she was, hung out with Pat. She was just glued to him. And we were really hoping that that, that uh, Pat would have ended up staying with her. But, uh, so, we, uh, so we had this giant castle that we put together out of panels and for our events. Um, there was a tower that was three stories high. Then there was like a big wall, and then there's like a gatehouse with a, a gate that opens up and stuff. And we charge out through the gate at the beginning of the show. And then there was another uh, four-towered structure, you know, um, that looked like it had like a portcullis in it and a spiral staircase and all that shit. And on the side of that was a big pavilion canvas tent that Bill had. And we had that set up. And, uh, and it was like an encampment and people could go in there and check it out and stuff. It was really cool. Anyways, so Pat was sleeping in, in, in that pavilion, in that tent. And Disney was staying with him. I'm sleeping in the castle tower on the second floor. And I wake up in the middle of the night to take a leak. So I climb down the tower and I walk to get to the bathrooms. I had to do this. And, um... I had to walk around to the gatehouse and then the other thing. And then I, I'm walking around the back of Bill's tent, his big pavilion. And I could hear Pat and Disney getting after it. He's cramming her puss. And I'm on the other side of the canvas. But I'm maybe like three feet from him as I'm like shuffling to get by through that back area there. And all of a sudden they stop having sex. And I hear Pat mumble something. <laughs> 
Then she says really loudly, you want me to what? And I started laughing as I'm going by. I said, go get her, Pat. He's like, Jay, Jay, get in here. Come here, Jay. And I'm like, fuck no. <laughs> I don't want to know. To this day, I have no idea what the fuck Pat asked her. Um, one of these days, I'm gonna, I'm, I know I'm going to see him again. It could be in 10 years. It could be in 10 minutes. Like that guy, he's like a penny. He just turns up. So uh, next, <laughs> next time I see him, um, I'm going to try and remember to ask him what it is. That he whispered into Disney's ear uh, that night of, uh, of bliss. But shortly after that, they stopped seeing each other. I, I don't know. I think Pat broke up with her. I think he called it off. And I do remember her being upset. And um, I don't know why, why he did that. Maybe just the life that he was used to living for so many years... Um, completely got flipped on over, you know, and it made him uncomfortable. And I thought maybe, uh, he felt like he had to get out of that and it sucks. It sucks. Cause she was a really awesome, awesome gal, a dynamite lady. And, uh, yeah, it sucked. I felt bad for Pat, but what can you do? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Pat story. Um, check out my links below. Hit me up on Twitch. I'm, um, I hang out and play games and chat with you guys. I got some new merch. Um, you guys gotta check out my Target, uh, stickers and shirts. So, uh, yeah, check out my links. Alright, guys. Um, I will see you in a couple days for Saturday. Alright, guys. High fives and bars. Oh, there it is. Yeah.